Okay, this is HubNet tutorial number three. Uh, we're going to have a look at a HubNet activity by dissection. So first, I'll start the NetLogo app. Then, under File, I'll choose Models Library. And down at the bottom, we've done this before, expand HubNet activities and this time we'll choose code examples and template. So this uh, template is a very simple, ultra simple HubNet activity, uh, one that we can make our own uh, by modifying. So we're just going to have a look at this activity. So we'll choose open. Uh, by the way, this screen snapshot shows an activity in which there are two uh, students or HubNet clients uh, participating. Uh, we're going to see a similar screen, but with only one student. Session name, I'll choose Abraham. And the HubNet control center automatically opened. Now I'm going to pretend that I'm student number one and I'm going to open my HubNet client, but this time on the same computer, and I'll name this student Ralph. Select this activity template, click Enter, and now we're looking at the HubNet client screen next to uh, the leader's screen. So clicking Setup and uh, Go, I see a representation, a graphic version of my client uh, on this screen. And so this uh, turtle labeled with the name of the student, Ralph, is going to be uh, the only participant. And this turtle belongs to the leader screen but is a proxy for this student over here. And <clears throat> what uh, the client can do is click the button up, and the turtle moves up. Click right, it moves to the right. How far does it move? Step size, and that is adjustable. Let's make it larger. Doing my best. Now it's three, so down three, move to the left three, change it back to two, move up two, and so on. After each move in one of the four cardinal directions by a distance uh, in patches called step size, we get to new location of the uh, proxy turtle for this client on the graphics window here of the leader, which would presumably be projected on uh, a screen for all the clients to see. And the X and Y coordinates of that uh, turtle are indicated in this monitor window and the client user interface. So that's all there is to it. And now I'm going to withdraw uh, from the activity so that we can examine the code and uh, the net, net logo model. So let's make this a little larger. So the interface uh, tab refers to the NetLogo interface. Uh, the info tells a um, bunch of stuff about this particular NetLogo model. And under the code tab, we see the um, all the code there is for this HubNet activity. The client code and the leader code 
are all in one tab here, one one page. And you see, it's, it's not very long, uh, just a couple of pages. And a lot of the text here is preceded by two semicolons. These are comments in which the uh, the actual code is abundantly explained, not only how it functions, but how you might uh, change it in order to create a HubNet activity of your own. Now, we had seen that the client has a user interface of his own uh, with the four buttons for the cardinal directions and a slider and a monitor. And to set that up, if we were to write this program, we would look under the top menu bar of NetLogo app under Tools, where all these tools are familiar. We probably used them before at one point or another, Turtle Monitor, Patch Monitor, and, and so on. System Dynamics Modeler, we have used these. And uh, down here, second from the bottom, we have HubNet Client Editor. Let's click that. And here we see a version of the client user interface and uh, this this one is editable so if I do control click for example on this button and choose edit we then have the code for this button and uh, that is when this button is pushed by a client the procedure called up is called and that procedure belongs to the code tab of the NetLogo app. So looking around here, if we scroll around, we will uh, come to the command up and that says execute a move from uh, uh, zero uh, heading, which is uh, north, and, and then stop. So this uh, peculiar code reveals the uh, difficult aspect of HubNet programming, and that is messages have to be sent from the leader to the client over the Internet, and the choices by the client have to be sent from the client to the leader over the Internet, and that requires special code uh, special commands which are part of the HubNet uh, um, ma master code. So HubNet send, for example, is uh, re refers to a procedure which we uh, haven't written but uh, belongs to the uh, NetLogo system. Okay, so we will uh, uh, in a minute, have another look at uh, this this code and uh, try to understand how the messages travel on, on the Internet that are identified uh, appropriately by the client or, or the leader. So, to be continued. <laughs> 